Hey guys, it's John here again. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you um, the albums that are going to be 50 this year uh, and the ones I own. Um, there is one that I used to own, I don't know where it's gone, and it's the Bad Company self um, titled debut. Um, I did have that on vinyl, not sure where it is. Um, I will show you something at the end of this video. Um, or should I show you it now? One second. Right, so if you watched my last video, the albums that were released um, 40 years ago, so 40th birthday this year, um, I couldn't find it. You know what it was? And I found it, uh, Ride the Lightning. So yeah, that's my Ride the Lightning. The uh, Music for Nations picture disc. Um, yes, it was hiding. Um, but yeah, back to um, this video then. Uh, albums released 50 years ago. I don't have as many as I thought I would have. Um, so we're just going to start off with the really cool stuff. Um, I haven't been through all my other albums to check exactly the dates. Um, that will just take forever. Um, these are ones that are in a big long list on a website of all the albums that were released. And with, I did it with the last video and there was some that they'd missed off. Um, so here we go. Um, this is probably the album by this band I don't really listen to. Um, I prefer the other stuff, uh, One of These Nights and the Hotel California album and stuff and it is On the Border by The Eagles and yet yeah, this is 50 years old not this actual CD just the album but yeah On the Border I don't really care for this one much uh, The Best of My Love is probably the only song on there that I really would say is any good um, I, I hate the song James Dean Right, the next one. Um, don't have this on vinyl. I'm trying to show you these all on vinyl first, but I don't have these, so there's some vinyl, there's some not. Um, David Bowie, uh, Diamond Dogs, and uh, yeah, this is uh, a great album. And uh, yes, obviously, standout track for me is Diamond Dogs and Rebel Rebel. They are the main ones, but yeah. There we go. Yeah. Cool album. And this one here. I did not have this on vinyl. Um, but yeah, I'd love to have copies of these on vinyl. And it is Hotter Than Hell by Kiss. And um, there's a few good songs on here. Um, Parasite. Um, got to choose. Watching You, Hot Than Hell, and I think that's the only ones I really would listen to on this. Um, I, think I prefer the um, slightly earlier stuff than that, not on the first album. So yeah, so there's Hot Than Hell, and this is the last CD I'm going to show, and it's by Great Band. People should always go and check out this band. Uh, I've said this many times over the years. And it is uh, UFO. And this album is Phenomenon. I actually said that without screwing up the, the name of it there. Um, so there's a shiny cover. I've got a sleeve on this one. Uh, I do have the classic rock version of that as well. But yeah, that's the one with the uh, extra songs on. And they brought out other ones later than this as well with extra stuff, I think. Um, but yeah, um, Dr. Doctor, always very cool, and uh, yeah, very, very cool. And that's got uh, Michael Schenker on that. So, um, next album, um, one of my uh, all time favorite bands, and I'm sure most of you as well. 
like I said in the last video, one of the, the best front man ever. And uh, it is Queen and Queen 2 album. And uh, this is my EMA uh, 787. Hopefully that's uh, showed up all right there. And uh, yeah, there they are. This has got um, the very cool, um, let me just open this up. I didn't do this with the other thing, but I haven't got as many to show you in this one. The other video I had loads. Uh, White Queen. I absolutely, that is like an awesome song. I love that song so much. And um, what's the other one? Seven Seas of Rye. March of the Black Queen is pretty cool as well. But yeah, um, I'd say White Queen is probably my favourite song of um, the first two albums, actually. Um and it's one of the top ones there, um, live as well. I, I really like it on the uh, live at the Rainbow. But yeah, there we go. Queen 2. Right, another one. Another great album. A lot of people don't really like this album much, but I do. I think this album's pretty cool. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's a good one to listen to. Think of the other the other sort of heavy metal band that was around at the time um and what they were playing this is this is still pretty cool so compare it with them uh and it is judas priest's uh rock and roller and uh yeah this is the songs on here that are great like one for the road rock and roller is pretty good um what's the other one Winter, Deep Freeze, Winter Retreat and Cheetah are all sort of mainly like one long song, which is like 9 minutes 40. Um, those are tracks 3, 4, 5 and 6. They sort of all go together by what it says on it shows on here. Um, Run of the Mill, Caviar the Meths, Caviar and Meths, I think that was instrumental now. Dying to Meet You is great. Um... But yeah, some of them are quite long. 8 minutes 30 for a run of the mill. But yeah, that's... Um, go and check it out. 50, 50 years old. And now for this one. This is an awesome band. But this album is pretty... Sh shit. Can I say that? Actually, it's not this one that's shit. It's the one before this. Sorry, Scorpions. I'm not really a fan of your first album. Um, this is the second album. And uh, this is, yeah. Fly to the Rainbow. Um, I feel a bit bad now I said that. But yeah, no, it's not this album that's shit. It's the first album. Um, which... <laughs> escaped my mind what it's called and I have it um, but yeah this is not I don't think that is the original cover I can't remember now um, this has got um, Uli Roth on, uh, on lead guitar I can't remember if this is the first album you played on I think it is but yeah without Michael um, even though some of the songs on here are written by Michael um, Speedy's Commons, pretty cool. Fly to the Rainbow is great. Um, yeah. But yeah, go and check it out. I find I, they got better as they progressed. <clears throat> right. I watched um, one of Phil Aston's videos. You know, the guy from Nail Spinning. Um, I don't think he watches my videos, but. I do watch his videos and uh, he's a fan of this next band and I did watch one where he said can you remember, he could remember a time where a, a really big band would bring out two records in one year. Can you imagine that now? Like really good at records in one year. Well that's this next band and um, it is 
Burn. The first one with David Copperdale and what an amazing album. This is probably one of my favourite albums of the 70s. I should take that back. This is this is one of my favourite albums by Deep Purple. Um, but yeah, probably the best one. This and Come Taste the Band and uh, Stormbringer are my favourites. But yeah, but that's very cool. And there's... Uh, Yes, very awesome. Songs on there, very cool. Burn, Might Just Take Your Life, Sail Away, uh, Mistreated, You Fool No One. Just, just killer. And uh, here we go. The next one that came out after that, in the same year, 1974, 50 years old, Stormbringer. And I've always loved this cover. And if you're watching, Phil, I know you liked that cover too. And the other one. But yeah, this is um, very cool. And uh, there looks something like that. Um, songs on here. This you know, Stormbringer is just amazing. Coming out of nowhere, driving like rain. That's just awesome. I love listening to that. Uh, and... Hold on, Lady Double Dealer, You Can't Do It Right. Some of these are obviously sung by Glenn Hughes as well. Um, Lady, Lady Double Dealer, um, Soldier of Fortune, which is Coverdale, and um, The Gypsy, which is Killer as well. Um, I definitely prefer these originals to the White Snake versions later on. So, even though it's nice to just listen to those just to hear a little bit of difference but this is where it is for me very very cool and uh i highly enjoyed your video phil if you're watching this from now spinning magazine right um here we go uh the next great yes again two albums by the same artist i should have had this out with one of the previous albums but it is Queen, Sheer Heart Attack, and uh, yeah, this is my EMC uh, original 3061. Um, got loads of these. Um, this is just awesome. Um, Killer Queen, Now I'm Here. Now I'm Here is just amazing. Love it. And I love the fact that Def Leppard did that song at the Freddie Mercury tribute, which was m amazing. Um, Stone Cold Crazy, that is just amazing as well. Um, but yeah, really, really cool album, and uh, go and check it out. And I think this and um, oh, the, oh, I forgot the name of the other Queen album. Why am I forgetting the names of the albums today? Um, the one with the 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 months the big tall Tin Man on. Uh, they were the first two albums by Queen I got on vinyl too. But not this actual copy itself. But I've, I've got a few copies. Um, right. And this one. Um, no, I pulled this out by mistake. Did I? No. Let me just check that. Because I think... I've picked out Hotter Than Hell. No, Hotter, Hotter Than Hell is 1974. And so is this. I didn't realise Kiss brought out two records in the same year. So it's another band. Yeah, so I prefer this. This is Kiss's first self-titled debut album. And this is the one I really love the most out of the 70s stuff. Um... There's some very cool, amazing songs on here. Um, what was it again? Right, so Strutter, Nothing to Lose, Firehouse, Cold Gin, um, Kiss and Time I Like, um, Juice, Black Diamond is amazing, and that's probably the best song ever that's got... Um, Peter Chris singing. That is just awesome. 
So yeah, there you go. Go and get it if you don't have it, have it because it's amazing that album. Listen to it on YouTube first. We didn't get that chance. We didn't get that option back in the day. It was, you had to read a magazine to find out what these bands were bringing out and then you borrowed them off your mates or you um, uh, spent your money and just took a chance. Uh, this is not, uh, I got, this is not um, a band I really listen to. I have in the past. Uh, it's not a band I really listen to much anymore. They bought this out. Um, and uh, yes, there's not really many of the songs on here I know. I've only really listened to their greatest hits. So I don't think there's anything on here that was on the greatest hits. Not by what I can read here. Uh, and this is uh, Status Quo's um, whatever album that is. I don't know. Oh, it's just called Quo. So yeah. Oh yeah, it's there. So just Quo. Q U O. Yeah. I don't. I I I think I might have this on cassette, but I don't um really buy their stuff. I I might have some CDs. That's it. I like greatest hits. Um. Right. I'm gonna. The last two are very cool as well, by very cool album, oh well, very cool um, artist and band. One's a, 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 at this time, um, you'll see, I'll show you. Right, so this one is a great, awesome band, um, and uh, you may have heard of them, they were from Ireland, or the singer was, and I think the drummer. But here we go, and I think the one of the guitarists might have been as well. But I know one of the guitarists isn't. And the band is Thin Lizzy, and the album is Nightlife. Yeah. So yeah, I've always loved that cover. But I don't really rate the album so much. Um, but yeah, I think there's better Thin Lizzy albums out there. Um... Still in love with you, but that's the original. I, I think, I think they did a. a sl that's um. The one, the other one I've heard is when um. John Sykes sings it, and I like that version. That's from a live album years later, but yeah, um. Some of those songs, other than that one, and she knows is probably the only ones. I really would listen to. Uh, I do need to listen to that a bit more. Right, so 50 years old. Um, yes, and the last one. This was obviously someone I still listen to a lot. And uh, I have not bought his new album yet, which is Sacrilege. The new album is called Road, and I haven't bought it yet. And as soon as I say that, you know what it is. I can't get this out of the sleeve, so I'm just going to show you what it is. Um, and it is Alice Cooper's Greatest Hits. Um, I don't think there's an album that came out, except for this. This is the only one they showed, as Alice Cooper's albums come out in 1974. Um, but yeah, some very cool stuff on here. There's not... There's not a lot of songs actually. I'm 18. Is it? it, it is it my body? Desperado, which is great. Under my wheels. Be my lover. School's out. Hello Array is awesome. Elected. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Billion Dollar Babies. Cool. Teenage Lament. 74. And Muscle of Love. I'm 18 is just awesome as well. And uh, Desperado. But yeah, there you go. Alice Cooper's Greatest Hits. That's the last one for my stuff that I own from uh, 1974. And I would love those other ones that are on CD to be on vinyl. Um, cheers for watching and keep rocking and listening to whatever it is you're listening to. And I should do albums I have that are 60 years old, but I probably have only the Beatles. 
So that's not good enough. See you later.